Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another quick Bulls unboxing. Today we have Aeronautica Imperialis, Wings of Vengeance, and this is the game of aerial combat in the 41st millennium. Now this box features a couple of starter sets, starter army things, starter air wings, starter squadrons, whatever you want to call them, for the Imperial Navy and the Orcs. Additionally, it also comes with uh, everything you need to start playing the game. So this is your starter box, this is your uh, dive right in if you liked Imperialis, Aer uh, Aeronautica Imperialis previously in the previous edition. This one's for you. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, this is perfect for you too because you can dive right in. So let's go ahead and uh, do just that. All right, the box is popped. Let's get in here and slide it off. All right, got some uh, bubble wrap. That's very important. <laughs> Uh, bases. These are the new uh, hex base. We'll take a closer look at one of these a little bit later here. So to the side. Uh, we've got all of the cool new minis. I'm super pumped about these. Uh, they look pretty cool. We will take a closer look at all the miniatures in a moment and we'll kind of run through all of the different uh, planes we're going to be getting. But you can see these are pretty large. They are the uh, same scale uh, we've been told as Adeptus uh, Titanicus. So if you are a fan of Adeptus Titanicus like I am, then these should excite you. <laughs> Maybe we'll get rules for that one day. We got flyer stand bases there. Uh, we've got some dice, just looks like a set of eight regular D6s. So nothing, no crazy custom dice in this game so far. And one more sprue. And then we've got uh, the little art sheet here. Okay, so we've got, let's see, the Imperial Navy Marauder Bombers, uh, Imperial Navy Thunderbolts, We've got an Orc Air Wog Docky Jets and an Orc Air Wog Fighter Bombers. Uh, pretty sweet. We've got the rule book and it feels like, okay, yeah, instructions on how to put everything together, which we'll open up here momentarily. Uh, whew, quick reference sheet. If you're, if you're paying attention at home, this is the sheet that you want to take a screenshot of right now. <laughs> uh, and then there's also, oh, movement diagrams. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how all this stuff works yet, but we will find out shortly. Uh, and then punch outs. Gotta have punch outs, right? So double sided, it's just one sheet of punch outs. And then this must be the board. It's not really a board so much as a mat. All right, we'll take a look at that. And we've got some Aeronautica Imperialis. This is the Imperium and Orc transfer sheet. So very cool. And that's everything in the box. First up, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, sprues, and we have the Thunder Thunderbolt Fighter on the flight deck here. <clears throat> As you can see, that's a single sprue for the miniature, and it's uh, really simple uh, instructions. It's just a simple, you know, one pager here. So, really quick, really straightforward. Oh, really fast too. While I got this out, I'll put the uh, I'll put the movement um, base here, so you can see it's got a couple of dials that are already a part of that. I believe these are going to be measuring your speed and your, uh, your altitude. So those have little dials in there as well. Uh, but yeah, it's a really finely detailed miniature, again, for the Thunderbolt fighter here. Uh, it's a single sprue, and I believe you can build, uh, looks like two of these bad boys, which is kind of cool. So <laughs> uh, I like that quite a bit. Uh, next up, let's take a look at the Marauder Bomber sprue. Uh, and this one might actually be two different sprues if I, if I have this correct here. So there's the first sprue, um, and yes, you actually do have a second sprue. That's when this was for. We'll go over it in a second. Uh, some folks were wondering again about the scale, and I happen to have a Warlord Titan here, and I wanted to show off the scale of the the miniature here. So there's the there's the Warlord Titan next to one of the wings, <laughs> as you can see here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy looking again same scale i'm really pumped about that that's the uh, fuselage of the of the of the plane and again this does look like you get to uh, uh two marauder bombers in one sprue which is pretty cool uh two sprues technically because we do have the second sprue right there and this one's just got some different weapon options uh, as you can see there you've got different uh, turrets that you're going to be building and also missile options and you can load it up with bombers uh it looks like you've got 
like the round ones are more bombers and the other ones are more um, ship to ship or plane to plane kind of missile options there so yeah pretty cool move this to the side and next up i believe this is uh the orc uh fighter bomber oh there we go Let's take a closer look at this sprue and man it's just super detailed <laughs> More so, I would say, than the Imperial version, but that's because these look like orc fighter bombers. They look like they're scrapped together and um, plates have been welded on and things like that. And there's just a lot of stuff going on with these miniatures. I, I can't wait to see these guys put together and, and figuring out how we're going to paint them here at Bowls because there's going to be so much to do on these. Uh, you even have like the base for the different missiles and, and bombs you can glue in there. So uh, it's it honestly seems like it's the same as the uh the forge world option only in plastic and uh, you know smaller so <laughs> there you have it and then here's the fighter uh sorry the, the daca jets um and you can build three daca jets with this single sprue so that's pretty sweet um i'm kind of impressed with them how they're able to cram so much stuff on these sprues again same crazy amount of detail and i have seen the full daca jet uh, sprues and this feels like that again but smaller so here's the play mat, and it's like a giant poster, essentially. Uh, it's uh, It's got a really cool detail cityscape down here, and it does look like there's a bit of a perspective shift on the table, too. So it's pretty neat. Uh, it is double-sided. There's another map. I'll show this off in a second. But this one is like the cityscape map, and there are uh, hexes that you can see on top of this map. So you can, you can easily tell where you're going to be maneuvering and things like that. Um, it's pretty good size. Matt... Uh, so for your your playing pleasure there and then here's the other side this one's more of like an open field uh that you're going to be flying over there's some wrecks and stuff like that which is kind of neat they do have these uh squares that are kind of like are circles that uh on top of the hexes these little sections that are like special i don't know if that's maybe objectives for the game or something like that but uh it's pretty neat so double-sided play but here's the rule book packet and it actually comes with a second uh quick reference sheet too so you actually get two quick reference sheets in the box uh, as you're playing so perfect for two players to start to learn how to play this game uh moving along it's a pretty straightforward system uh it is turn-based there is an initiative step uh basically the, the the game breaks down into six steps for the turn summary we'll get in on that here in a bit i'm not going to go over uh it's not going to be a play how to play tutorial but i wanted to show off the rule book which is a uh, softback it's relatively short at only 36 37 pages with with the reference in there as, as well and again the quick reference sheet is the same as this section here uh but it's a quick breakdown of all of, of all the different ship stats that you need to play uh how to do squadrons lists uh and it just again walks you through how to how to play it's a rule book <laughs> i don't know what you're expecting here uh, it does talk about some of the other stuff that we were uh we showed off a little earlier like uh like the, the, the punch outs, which are these different tokens, uh, and they are different uh, maneuver tokens. Uh, there's also the stall token, which uh, is this one right here. It looks like you'll, like a, it's got a red circle, or a red section on that circle, which is probably bad. Uh, there's also the spin, which is a state that your, uh, your planes can get in when they're flying, which is probably, probably not good. There's also uh, structure points and tailing and stuff like that. Tailing is like, if you're behind them, uh, you can shoot them during the turn. It's, yeah, tailing. So uh, we'll go over that here in a sec. I'll break down the turns. It is a dice-based game. Uh, it it kind of pretty straightforward. Six d six for uh, it uses d six. Again, d six system. No shocker there. Um, no no crazy dice. Uh, it'll go through. Here's the uh, breakdown. Let me zoom in actually on a uh, on a card uh, for one of the planes. And again, it's got structure points. It can transport as well. There's also a fuel gauge or how much fuel is in there. Uh, your throttle, ace maneuvers. You only, uh, certain ships have access to certain maneuvers. Uh, and that's, again, they're numbered. So level flight, swoop, turn, snap turn, small turn, stoop, there's bank, and then wing, wing over. And again, the more agile or more nimble the ship is, uh, the more of these maneuvers you'll have access to. The Marauder, for example, right here, only has access to uh, ace maneuvers one through three. So don't expect this bad boy to do any crazy stuff like a wing over or a, a crazy bank or anything like that, or like a stall turn. So, um, but yeah, it's it's got some other stuff in here. Uh, fuel may or may not come into too much of an effect. Uh, 
that's the number of turns the aircraft can fly for. Typically, that's for scenario stuff, so I wouldn't stress that one too, too much. Uh, most of the ships that are kind of like dogfight ships or, or squadron ships are going to have enough fuel for the game, so they have a dash most of the time. Anyway, the turn summary is pretty straightforward. Uh, you're going to have your, sh your, your, your planes out there. Uh, you're going to choose your maneuvers first up. So everybody's going to put those face down. Uh, then you're going to go to the initiative step. It's a roll off, D6 roll, whoever's got the highest wins. Uh, tailing fire. That's when the aircraft that are tailing another aircraft, which is determined actually at the end of the previous round during the end phase, we'll get to that in a second, uh, can shoot. Uh, and the player that uh, won the initiative always chooses an aircraft and fires first. You won the initiative, go figure. Uh, movement, again, the player with the initiative uh, decides which player is actually going to move first, and then uh, you move one of your aircraft, uh, and you alternate going back and forth, uh, moving your aircraft. And I think during the movement phase, uh, this also is when you flip over your your maneuver token and kind of and do the maneuver that you have picked here again uh, from the uh, quick reference guide. That's your your movement diagram there. Uh, after the movement is firing, firing is uh, the player that moves first will also fire first. You choose one of the aircraft to fire, and then again, players alternate choosing an aircraft to fire uh, your weapons, and then you kind of go back and forth. And then the end phase, this is when uh, you determine um, uh, if any aircraft has stalled out or is in a spin. Again, not a good thing. Uh, and or you can also recover at this point. Tailing is also determined now which is going to apply at the following turn in the, again, tailing fire step, phase three. And then, of course, uh, if this is the last turn of the end, this is also when you tabulate your victory points. It's a really quick breakdown of the rules. I know that's not super in-depth, but like I said, we're not going to go through that right now. Uh, basics of movement. Again, this game does uh, change, the, change it up a little bit because if you remember the last version, there was a, 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 a um, altitude uh, to take into account. Since this is an atmospheric game, planes are going to be flying at different you know heights the altitude obviously so um and you can adjust the altitude uh whether you're climbing or you're diving depending on the maneuver uh and all that fun stuff and again the throttle that's going to determine the speed of the aircraft for the turn so you kind of set that and go uh yeah um there's all that stuff again not going to go over all the in-depth in nitty-gritty those are all here as well firing phase damage it's pretty straightforward the the ranges are done everything's in hexes so short range for example is one to four uh medium is five to seven long is eight to ten and then you're going to be checking your firepower um versus the ship uh so yeah the, for the different range bands so you kind of check your firepower at the range you're shooting at and then you roll that many uh dice to the target uh, there's also some hit modifiers uh damage rolls are caused um, for each successful damage roll, that causes one damage to the target, uh, which reduces the structure points accordingly. And if you ever hit zero structure points, you're going to crash. <laughs> um, tailing's a little bit different, but the damage is essentially the same. There's also other stuff, too. These are these are big planes. They do have tail gunners. Uh, it's designed to incorporate like ground attack stuff, aerial attack stuff, too. There's actually a, uh, an entire um, extra ground asset box, too, which we're going to go over at a later video. Um, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much all we're going to cover in the rules. Uh, there are different squadron missions, uh, and then things like that, different scenarios. Uh, and again, it goes through the, uh, the fighters. It is a points-based game as well, so you can, you can scale it to the size that you wish to play. So, it's pretty cool stuff. Well, folks, that's pretty much everything in the Aeronautica Imperialis Wings of Vengeance box. I hope you're excited for this one to take to the, uh, grim dark skies and go shoot down other planes with your uh, <laughs> with your imperial ships and your orc ships uh or orc planes excuse me and imperial ship uh, planes now didn't see anything in there about uh, future expansions but i have a good feeling about this game that it's gonna have some more ships coming out soon so or relatively soon anyway i'm adam here from bowls thanks for watching Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.